What is going on everybody? Um, I am Outer Space Gaming and it is currently 12 o'clock midnight. Um, now if you guys will notice, yesterday I didn't make a video uh, and today I didn't make a video except for this one. However, it's kind of tomorrow. But uh, anyways, um, I've been working on some things. Now if you guys seen in my last video, I had actually gotten a 3D printer. Uh, now I did set the 3D printer up. And uh, I actually wanted to make this video because I wanted to show you guys uh, basically my progress and uh, what I've been working on. So uh, essentially what happened is um, I wanted to make something simple to test the 3D printer out as well as my ability and comprehension of how everything works. And I ended up making this. A very simple, <clears throat> excuse me, a very simple little like holder basically. It's just a hollowed out cube. Um, but this was just like a test for the 3D printer as well as how it would turn out with the PLA plastics. So this is what I came up with for the initial run of the 3D printer. Now this took about three hours uh, and it is a very small little thing you can see here. Uh, and actually for reference, funny enough, I have a uh, soda here. So I have a Carnage soda can and as you guys can see it is about half the height. So a very small little thing that I wanted to make uh, just to try out, like I said, the 3D printer. Uh, and then what I ended up making today, which took around seven hours, was the very first version or a prototype of what I'm going to be using this printer for. And it is this right here. Now I wanted to wait until I get my recording stuff set up so I could uh, basically take off all of the excess framework and show you guys what what it is that I was working on and exactly what it is. So that's what we are going to do now. And I'm just going to clip off all of this excess material. Being sure not to damage anything that I'm going to be keeping on here. Uh, and I think maybe I can just kind of, yeah, break it off. And then I will just rip off uh, or I'll cut off anything that I'm not able to just break right off. So this is super exciting. As you guys know, I just recently got the 3D printer uh, a couple days back. And uh, this is my first, uh, essentially my first 3D print. Uh, and this is a, a figure that I did make my uh, of my own design that pertains to my YouTube channel. So I am super excited to see how this thing turned out. Oh my gosh, this stuff is quite hard to get off trying to keep it on camera but at the same time I'm actually trying to break it off because this stuff is very rigid material and it is uh quite difficult to get off uh, I might have to cut it here just trying to trying not to destroy the thing but at the same time I do want to actually uh get as much of this stuff off as possible and if I end up having to like sand some stuff down or whatever the case may be, I am completely fine with that. I just don't want to break anything off at like some thinner points here. But already I can see the figure looks really cool. Uh, and I, again, like I said, I did model this myself. Uh, so this was something that I modeled in Blender which I am partially well, partially familiar to uh, just because I have worked in Blender before doing other things, uh, just like minor little side things that I just kind of enjoyed. So I, ha I already had an idea of how to do some modeling in there. So this was not too difficult for me to make. Um, so that is always pretty good. I'm trying to figure out how I can take all this stuff off. And I might end up having to take off that plat the platform underneath because it's already kind of coming off of his foot. Oh, oh we're good. Woo! Yeah, and I don't want to break the arms off or anything. Uh, but like I said, this is the first version, the first iteration. Uh, basically the prototype for the model that I'm going to be making. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was pretty cool. Um, 
And if you guys know of an easier way of taking this stuff off, uh, definitely feel free to let me know. Because I got no idea. I'm just kind of breaking it off where it seems like it's coming off. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to get this on camera, but, uh, <laughs> it's so much stuff, dude. Look at all this debris here. Oh my gosh, whoops. Alright, and then again, I think I might end up having to take them off this. Nope, there we go. Alright, I wanted to keep them on the stand, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that is going to be the case. But, with that being said, he's pretty much all taken apart. I'm just going to do some... Fine cleaning up here, make sure everything looks good. Snip some little pieces here and there that got a little melted on. And uh, he is, for the most part, cleaned up. So let me just move all this stuff out of the way. I can just vacuum all this stuff up, not a big deal, or get the big pieces. But there it is. There it is, my little spaceman. So I ended up going with a little astronaut, obviously because I am outer space gaming. And uh, I posed him in just doing like a little wave, something very simple. Uh, nothing super crazy. <clears throat> but this is my very first attempt at a 3D print. So he looks really cool. He's got a nice, he's got a little belt there with a little tiny button on it. He's got his backpack and then obviously he's got the helmet. Um, now, in the future, I could do something to, like, represent a visor here, um, and maybe change out different plastics, but I'm not sure how to change out plastics midway through the printing process without really wasting a lot of material, um, and while, and, and at the same time trying to color coordinate different pieces to be different colors and stuff, so these are all things that I'm going to end up having to try to figure out as I go, but this was my first attempt at a... 3d printed figure and again like i said in the uh 3d printing uh boxing video um i am going to try to do something where uh basically i use the 3d printer for some other applications and i will let you guys know in the future what those are going to be um, but for now it is just a little figure standing here well he doesn't really stand up because he's a little back heavy so i might have to make his feet a little bit bigger but i did want to keep him on the stand but I could probably super glue them back on here or maybe even make this platform a little bit thicker. I'm not entirely sure, but this is the figure. Oh, and uh, this was all I had for you guys today. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. It's going to be obviously a very small, short video, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that I was making some progress on the 3D printer and uh, that's everything. So peace out.